Norman with iSaveTractors.com. In this video, I'm going to give you an in-depth look at an Ingersoll 4118 garden tractor. Now this is one handsome tractor. This Ingersoll 4118 is a cousin to the old Case uh, 444, 446, and 448 tractors. Uh, Ingersoll bought the garden tractor brand uh, at some point in time and then changed it over to these models. Now this is an awesome tractor capable of reaching a top speed of uh, seven and a half miles per hour. It weighs about 725 pounds. It's about 72 inches long, 43 and a half inches high. It has a ground clearance of about 11 inches. And this is a fantastic tractor. It features an all hydraulic drive system, which means that Unlike a gear transmission, it doesn't use uh, any gears to to move it for to change the rate of speed is the best way to put it. It's not like a hydrostatic transmission that uses a swash plate to control uh, direction and speed. Instead, it purely uses a hydraulic valve that runs a hydraulic motor which turns the differential in the rear. It's a very unique system. This unique drive system is what enables the deck of this, uh, not the mower deck, but the actual kind of platform of the tractor to be very flat. As you can see here, there's no like tunnel cover to cover a drive shaft or anything. The foot area is all nice and flat. It keeps the tractor nice and uh, thin in this respect. It makes it so it's much easier to get on and off the tractor. Now the heart of this drive system all begins right here with the hydraulic pump. This hydraulic pump is a two-section gear pump. So there are actually two sections that's pumping out fluid. So this uh, larger section that's closer to the engine puts out nine and a half gallons per minute of hydraulic flow, which is quite a lot of oil. That is what uh, supplies oil to the travel circuit of this machine. So all of that high flow goes right to that hydraulic motor that turns the differential to move the tractor. Uh, the relief valve for this travel hydraulic circuit is set at 2,800 PSI. That is a lot. So this this uh, drive setup here is capable of pushing out a lot of torque and a lot of power. Uh, this hydraulic motor is mated to a two-speed differential, so there is a high and a low. In low range, this can go up to 4.2 miles per hour, and it has a lot of power to do some really major pulling of heavy trailers and ground engaging equipment. Now, the second section of this pump uh, is for the lift circuit. So it's for lifting your mower deck. In the case of this particular tractor, I have it attached to a three-point hitch. That smaller section of the pump puts out two gallons per minute. Uh, and it has a relief valve of 575 PSA. Still still has a ton of power to lift uh, a lot of implements. We'll get uh, to the three-point hitch in a moment. Now, there's also a power steering unit uh, for this tractor. There's a power steering valve, which has a relief valve set at 720 PSI. So, again, it's got a lot of oomph to, uh, to turn those wheels in pretty much any condition. The engine in this tractor is the Onan Performer Series P218 18 horsepower engine. Uh, this is an opposed twin cylinder engine. Some great features with this engine is it uses an electronic ignition system, so there's no points in condenser to worry about. It also features full pressure oil lubrication, so there's an oil filter and an oil pump inside the engine that forces oil to all the critical parts inside. This greatly extends the the usable life of the engine. This engine compartment also houses the hydraulic oil reservoir for the hydraulic system on this machine, as well as the battery and a hydraulic cooler, which is mounted just forward of the engine. This tractor has a huge five gallon plastic gas tank, which means I can run this tractor for multiple days for hours at a time without having to refill. It also features eight by 16 big tires in the back. Uh, these tractors are commonly known as the Case or Ingersoll high-wheeled tractors uh, or big-wheeled tractors, and this is why. These tires give you tons of ground clearance, and it also, aesthetically, it's, it's great, too, because it makes this tractor look more like a farm tractor, which is pretty cool. The front tires are standard uh, 16 by 6.5 by 8 tires. The front spindles are three-quarter inch, and the wheels have two heavy-duty bearings per wheel. 
Now, this particular tractor has a hydraulic PTO. So in addition to all the other hydraulic valves that I have, I also have a hydraulic motor valve mounted on this tractor. Uh, so I can run hydraulic implements uh, such as uh, a mower deck, a tiller, a snowblower. Uh, Ingersoll made all of those hydraulically powered, so I don't have to worry about any PTO belts or clutches or anything like that. This provides a more positive transfer of power without having to worry about belt slippage uh, or anything of that sort. I don't have any hydraulic uh, powered implements for this right now, but this hydraulic uh, PTO setup gives me the power to, to custom make a, an almost infinite number of things. This tractor also has a hydraulic flow valve for the travel circuit. So by using this valve, I can further fine tune my ground speed when doing uh, high torque, slow speed ground engaging work like pulling a tiller or pulling a plow or anything like that. We normally use this tractor for the three point hitch capabilities that this tractor has. The three point hitch is a category zero hitch and it's capable of lifting well over 500 pounds. Uh, I think the heaviest I've ever put on it was 700 pounds, and that explains why I have all of the weights on the front of the tractor to help offset the stuff I pick up on the back. I have made a ton of attachments for this three-point hitch. I have a set of pallet forks. I have an engine-driven tiller. I have a, a, a two-inch receiver hitch, as well as other hitches that go into that hitch. I have a hitch that's good for pulling garden carts. I have uh, several different ball hitches. Uh, you'll see this tractor in a lot of our tractor at work videos. I use this primarily to pull uh, the heaviest trailers full with gravel, children, uh, manure, and the list goes on. I use this tractor uh, almost 365 days a year here in Maine uh, in all weather conditions from sunshine to rain to snow. Well, I hope you found this video enjoyable and helpful in your search for information for the Ingersoll 4118 Garden Tractor. If you're debating whether to buy one of these or not, I will make it easy for you. You should definitely buy one of these uh, or the case equivalent. They do pop up on Craigslist. They are an incredible tractor for rural homeowners, people with really large gardens or small, smaller acreage. Uh, I've been really happy with it. We use it to help manage our 8-acre property here in Maine. If you need any engine parts for your old small engines like the old Kohler K-Series, KT Twin, Magnum Twins, as well as the Onan Performer Series, CCK Series, and B-Series engines, as well as Tecumseh HH and Briggs & Stratton cast iron engines, please look us up online at isavetractors.com. We are the leaders in developing high-quality aftermarket parts for your old small engines. My name is Norman. Thanks for watching.